Singapore-based ground handling and catering services provider SATS is opening their largest state-of-the-art facility outside of Singapore in India. Well, I am at their Bengaluru facility with Kerry Mock, who is the president and CEO of SATS Limited. Kerry, welcome to CNBC TV 18. Hi. So, Kerry, this is a very large facility that you are opening in Bengaluru. Uh, tell us what will this facility enable for SATS in the country? Thank you. Uh, this, India is firstly a very important country uh, for SATS. We've been in India for more than 20 years. We had several uh, joint venture partnerships with, uh, with all our local partners here, from uh, Touch SATS to AI SATS, um, and of course Mumbai Cargo Service Center, and then recently WFS uh, Bengaluru, where we just recently opened up our cargo center here. So this history of us operating in, in, in India has served us very well. We have understood the market locally. We have got good talents uh, out of India as well. In fact, one of our CEO here uh, worked in Singapore and then here, he's now back here in India, leading this company right now as we speak. And all this actually points to the fact that India is both a country where there's a lot of opportunity with diverse culture, rich uh, heritage. We want to be part of this uh, country. We want to actually contribute to this country by also bringing our know-how, our global know-how in terms of culinary expertise, food safety, as well as our customer base as well to actually enhance the offering here to the local, local market. So what are some of the partnerships? What are some of the local partners that you will have? What will be your customer base in the country? If you can share in uh, more details on that. Sure, I'll, I'll start first by customers. I mean, of course, we've been here for a while. We know the food business well. We have collaborated with a lot of airlines as our base Which, offering. With uh, JV with, with Touch. With JV Touch Sets. So yes. we, know, we know Touch Sets uh, customer base very well. We, in fact, we, we, we brought in new airlines as well. And, and as, through our global uh, relationship, we were able to do that. And we've learned about the market. and We found an opportunity that we can actually do centralization and bring even greater scale food safety standards uh, into the Indian market. And today, this is the largest investment we've made. I, I guess from that perspective, you can really tell that from a SaaS perspective, this is the country that we want to actually grow bigger. And it's got the scale, more than a billion, 1.8 billion is what I, I understood in terms of the, the population. That's why this factory is our largest uh, investment to date in terms of the size. We brought in the technology. Uh, we want to bring in the best in class technology in there. IoT systems, you name it, food safety. But I'll tell you one thing that I'm very impressed with, which the, the, my local team has done very well. As you walk through the facility, you'll find that the way we handle temperature integrity, it is top notch. And temperature integrity is a key enabler of food safety and food quality. And I was very impressed when the team took me through, showing me all the IoT uh, um, monitoring of the temperature, how they can even alerts and they can take actions to, uh, to actually uh, address any potential issues. But beyond that, we work with local partners to even deliver our food. And in the trucks, there are, there are IoT temperature loggers to even show that by the time we reach the consumer's uh, location, the temperature integrity is intact. Mm -hmm. And this to us is a very important, sounds easy, but it's very important in the food industry. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we're doing that with local partners here. And what are some of the uh, initial few uh, clients that you will be servicing out of uh, you know, this particular facility of SATS yeah. uh, in the country? The first one I'm very proud to say is Swiggy. Swiggy is our first customer here. In fact, uh, you'll see that we have started uh, producing some items for Swiggy already. Uh, this is very interesting. In fact, I met the Swiggy's uh, founder almost two years ago. And that's where he, we started talking about how can we collaborate with uh, Swiggy's, how can we help Swiggy's grow their business. And at the time, what I told him was, actually, you need Central Kitchen. You need Central Kitchen to support the growth of your food business. And I said, but I, I, yeah, I need to be patient because I need two years to build this facility. And two years now is up and running. You know, it's a nice facility. It's one that I'm very proud of. Uh, one that, you know, we're starting to serve Swiggy. I'm glad that Swiggy is our first customer here. But beyond Swiggy's, there will be other customers that will, that will like to bring on board. Um, but also, well, for example, even the aviation customers uh, will start to look at us as well to help. Uh, so Touch Sets will be one of our customers as well. Oh. They are our partner, you know, we are, you know, we are of the same family, of the same shareholding. Um, but we will bring some of these uh, production efficiency into the, into the in-flight kitchen. And that's how we're actually changing the way we serve 
uh, airline customers, not just in India, but also in the rest of Asia as well. So the food that we get in our airline yeah. could potentially come from here. The food that we get in our cafes could potentially come from here. The food that we mm. get uh, in our home, yeah. which uh, we purchase from a local market, yeah. a prepackaged meal, yeah could come from the SATS facility absolutely, absolutely. right here. Uh, yeah. 61 yeah. million uh, Singapore dollars uh, investment is what you've done in the factory. Yeah. One lakh 75,000 meals per day is what uh, it can provide if I'm not No, mistaken. we have 40, 40, uh, 40, tons of, uh, 40, 40 tons of food per day. Oh, so wow. depending on uh, what kind of food, what kind of meals, uh, but you know, there's a mix between bakery products, between soup sauces, ready to eat meals. So it's quite varied in terms of what we can uh, produce. Obviously, we, we work very closely with customers to understand their needs, and then we tailor our solutions to the customer's requirements. I think that's the special thing about what we can do here. It's not a one-size-fit-all. We do have an R&D kitchen here. We've got a very good R&D team. Our chefs uh, and R&D chefs are really good. They don't just work by themselves. They actually collaborate with our R&D centers uh, outside of, uh, of India, for example, in Singapore. Uh, in China, in Japan, in, even in UK, we have an R&D chef. Today, they are connected digitally and they start to innovate amongst themselves. So lessons that we learn or, or, or flavors that we learn from India, we share our British uh, colleagues in there. We share with our Singaporean chef colleagues as well. So I think this mixture and utilizing a network of chef to co-create new ideas is a very important one. And we hope to bring authentic food uh, out from India to the rest of Asia, but at the same time, we can bring authentic food from UK or from Singapore into the Indian market as well. And I think that's the best way we can showcase our, our capability. I think importantly, hopefully, we can delight customers with uh, authentic tasting food.